What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. I'm here today with our Ford Raptor. It's actually a pretty nice day today. We are in the uh, 50s, but for the past previous week, we've had horrendous weather here, extremely cold. We had minus 20 where I'm at. Uh, there's been up to minus 50 in cer certain parts of the country. And unfortunately, it's even caused casualties for people in their vehicle because of the cold. Now, if you follow this channel on a regular basis, you know that we like to do certain experiments with the cars that I currently own. And I'm sure you've read the title already, so you know what it's about. In today's video, we are going to see for how long does a vehicle idle? on one gallon of gas. It's currently running because we're almost all out of fuel. As you guys can see right here, it says three miles till empty. Now in this specific vehicle, the fuel light comes on when it's 50 miles left to drive. But what we're gonna do in today's video is we're gonna run the truck until it's completely empty. Now obviously it's gonna vary a little bit from vehicle to vehicle, but most uh, vehicles have about a gallon or two gallons of reserve tank. So when the gauge says that you have zero miles left to go, you still have at least, I think, two gallons. And the rule of thumb is really that you're burning about a quarter gallon per 15 minutes. I have tried to research what uh, size or how many gallons does the reserve tank hold in this specific truck, and I haven't been able to find it, but I'm, I'm guessing that it's around two gallons. So once this gauge right here hits zero, we're just gonna see what time it is, and then we're gonna let the truck run. And once it dies, we'll know exactly how long you can idle on the reserve tank. All right, so we're waiting for it to hit zero, and I just got a message here that the vehicle is gonna shut off to uh, prevent override. So we're gonna shut it off and then start it back up. So yeah, we might have to do this a couple times if the vehicle's gonna try to shut itself off to prevent an override, but yeah, we'll, we'll see how this uh, goes. We'll, we'll wait till it hits zero here. All right, so it's 11.36. We just hit zero miles till empty here. So now we're officially on the reserve tank. And this is kind of really where the video starts. How long are we gonna be able to idle here? Uh, until the vehicle completely dies. Now obviously there's gonna be some variables. I mean, idling is idling, but uh, I'm sure it's gonna come down to the size of the motor. This truck has a, uh, a V6, twin turbo V6. You know, some vehicles have V8s, some have four cylinders, and, and you know, it differs. This vehicle also has a 36 gallon tank. I don't know if that makes a difference when it comes to the reserve tank. Uh, but I'm just giving you the stats on uh, our tester here today in today's video. Many of you probably don't even care about something like this, but I'm, I'm weird and <laughs> I wonder about things like this. And I actually think it could be uh, of safety as well, if you're ever, God forbidding, but if you're ever in a situation where you are stuck and you're running out of gas and it is very, very cold weather conditions, you're in the middle of nowhere, uh, maybe you can at least reach some help on the phone. I'm basically idling on fumes here and I think I only have about maybe an hour left. That kind of information can be good to have. All right, so it's 11.59 and we got a second override warning here. So we got to turn it off and then we'll turn it uh, back on. And this override is basically, uh, to my understanding, mainly to, or mainly for the environment, that you don't sit and idle for too long. But we're doing this in the name of science, so uh, that's why we're still doing it. But this is an extremely weird video to film, because you just I'm just sitting here, like doing nothing. Usually when we do these type of uploads, uh, you know, at least I'm driving around, like, being active. Now I'm just sitting. <laughs> It gets kind of boring and I have a feeling that we have a long time to go. It's 12.06 currently. So yeah, we're just gonna keep on going. All right, and there we have the third override warning. So again, we gotta turn it off, start it back up. It's 12.29, almost been idling for an hour now. And there's officially one hour that we've been idling. So I've been guessing around an hour and a half to two hours. I don't, I don't think it'll idle for much longer than that. Uh, so, <laughs> I'm just gonna have to wait and see. All right, so it's 1.30. In seven minutes, we've been sitting here for two hours idling on zero. 
Uh, we have, I think, the sixth or, yeah, sixth override warning here. So we're going to turn it off and then turn it back on. I mean, I just think it's absolutely amazing how we can idle for this long. All right, so here we are. Uh, <laughs> we got override number, I forget. But yeah, it's 159. So almost, I guess, two and a half hours. I'm just sitting here. It's still idling. This is absolutely insane. Yeah, it's definitely longer than two hours that I was guessing. So, yeah, we'll see. Maybe it makes it all the way to three hours. It is now exactly three hours that we've been idling. And, of course, we have another override warning. Uh, <laughs> this is getting a little old, to be honest with you. Start it back up. I mean, it said zero miles to empty now for three freaking hours. These people have walked by me now um, four times. <laughs> and she, she just gave me a really weird look. She's like, what is this guy really doing? Uh, I can understand that because it looks kind of weird just sitting here. But yeah, it's for science. This is getting kind of repetitive, but this is the eighth now. Um, override warning. 306. Turn it off. Turn it back on. Yeah, we know it's zero miles to empty. All right, I almost missed it. Uh, we're officially four hours in. I'm sitting here like scrolling through freaking TikTok, uh, trying to have time go by. This is insane. Four hours idling. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I can't even like really think properly here now. If the rule of thumb is a quarter gallon of fuel per 15 minutes idling, uh, that's a gallon an hour. And we've been sitting here for four hours. Yeah. That's four gallons. Like, damn, dude. <sighs> I mean, it's a good thing in, in like a crisis situation, but me just demonstrating here, trying to figure out, it's extremely boring. You'd be looking at 2233 grand. So I really want to pay cash or card. Card. All right, three, seven. Yeah, because we, uh, we're pushing five hours here in, in about 25 minutes. And I'm hungry. I've only had breakfast today. So, <laughs> I started this video so early because we still had like 80 miles left to go. So I had to take the truck out and like start driving and stuff like that so we can get it like to really low to shoot this portion where it's at zero, as you guys saw in the beginning. So yeah i mean look at this the sun is like literally going down uh when i started this video the sun was like way over here <laughs> uh, i ordered drinks too because i'm running out of water i'm thirsty dry mouth i'm hungry Check that out, what? See, this comes in handy here now. It's called the interior work surface for like, you know, people in construction for their laptops and stuff, but no. Ah, this is where you put your pizza. Oh. You know what, might as well eat it outside. It's so nice out. Shout out with Chelly's Pizza, by the way. It's not a paid product placement or anything. It's not sponsored. They have good pizzas, and they get here like quickly. They tell you like half an hour, and it always comes quicker than that. I like that. 
So we're going to save the rest because who knows how long I'm going to have to be here. And we passed the uh, five hour mark while we were standing out there eating pizza. And I'm not going to do any more updates until this truck dies. <sighs> this is getting old. All right, so I have a bit of a confession here. We're approaching six hours. It's like getting dark outside. The street lights are on and everything. Truck is still purring. And I never thought it was gonna take this long. Like my dog is at home by himself or herself. She needs fed and everything. So uh, it's currently 5.17 p.m. At 5.36, we've been here for six hours. I mean, I've actually been here slightly longer, but we've been idling at zero miles, like empty tank, more reserve, for six hours. And the truck is still running. Yeah, so basically what I'm saying is I might have to cut this short. Uh, well, <laughs> short, long, uh, because I, I can't just sit here like all night. I have responsibilities at home and stuff. My wife's coming home from work late. Uh, yeah. This is probably the oddest video I've ever filmed. This is so weird. It just keeps on going, like keeps on idling. Weird. Yeah, when this hits 5.36 um, and the truck is still running, I'm gonna drive home. Or try to drive, I might run out of gas, but um, you know, I mean, I'm the only car parked here in this park. It's like all dark. People take their walks past here. And I'm sitting here in my truck, lights on, by myself. I feel like a creep. <laughs> Someone's gonna end up calling the cops on me or something like that. So yeah, we got uh, 13 more minutes. If it hasn't run out of gas by then, I mean, I don't know what to tell you. Six freaking hours. Uh-oh, uh-oh, what do you know? <laughs> what do you know? Dude. Yeah, I think something's happening now. Something's definitely happening now. I think we're getting close to the end here. I think we're getting close to the end. And see, it's been idling at 700 the whole time. Now it's 600. Hmm. All right, here we go. You hear that? Oh, look at that. Just under six hours. Just under six hours. Uh, I'll try to start it here. Oh, it just dies right away. Oh my God. It's 527. So we're nine minutes out from sitting here for six freaking hours. Six hours. Oh my god, definitely the weirdest, well, I mean not maybe weirdest, but for me the weirdest video to film, just sitting still for like ever. And of course, you know, I brought fuel so we can refuel, I can, I can get home. I don't know what the reserve tank is in this freaking truck, but it's probably like four or five gallons. Because this took way longer than I had expected. And it's actually a good thing, like I mentioned earlier, if you're in a crisis situation, especially if, if you're in horrific winter weather that we've had here uh, up north and pretty much all of the country, and you're stuck somewhere, uh, you'll definitely have time to, to call someone, let them know where you're at. Even if they're hours out, you'll have some time, at least in a Ford Raptor. I think that most vehicles have a somewhat not large, but even if they have a, a three, four, five gallon reserve tank, you're just idling. And even if the vehicle were to die, you still maintain some heat inside. Long story short, it gives you a few hours of safety, even if you're stuck, like to, to have heat at least. So now I'm just, I'm, I'm gonna fill up the truck with some fuel and then get the heck out of here. I wanna go home. I think we have enough to get to a gas station at least. All right, now we just need it to start up. Here we go. Yes. Still says zero miles to empty. <laughs> I probably got maybe two gallons in there. We're still empty obviously, but we're just pulling into the gas station here now. So, thank God. I hope you guys found this video somewhat uh, valuable or entertaining or 
boring, let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm completely shocked about how long this thing idled. What do you guys think? What was your predictions when you were watching it? Um, yeah. <sighs> give me your thoughts in the comments below. If you guys enjoy this video, give it a huge thumbs up. And don't ask me if I'm doing this with some other vehicle because th th this video was boring to make. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.